your awareness? What have teammates told you about kind of what to expect in this in this rivalry uh, series this weekend? Um, I know there's a lot of hype around it, so I'm ex super excited. I don't think I'm really going to know exactly what I'm getting myself into until Friday, Sunday. But I'm super excited, and everyone's really pumped up, ready to go. Playing in front of so many packed crowds already at Matthew Knight, is it going to be maybe a little bit easier to not get overwhelmed by the moment when you come in here and there's 12,000 people? Definitely easier. I think my very first game of college basketball was against the United States in front of a packed house. So I think I'm adjusting to it a lot better. I'm still shocked every single time I come out and play that we have over 10,000 people here. It's amazing. What was your experience with rivalry games like in Australia? Is there anything that sort of prepares you for this or any experiences that you can take from there to bring it over? Australia versus USA. <laughs> yeah, that's our rivalry game. Yeah, that's our rivalry game against the United States, I think. But also back home playing for Victoria Country was always a rival against the Metro side, so the town versus the countryside. So that was always a big rivalry. That was a lot of a lead up, and we were always the underdog. So it was my favorite game to play. Is the coaching staff kind of preaching this as just another game, or they obviously know how special it is? Oh, it's just another game. I think every game is day by day and we're not looking too far ahead we're not even like thinking about Sunday I think we're ready for Friday and it's just another game there's going to be a lot of people behind us on the Friday but it's still every other game you mentioned the USA game and you guys obviously played so well that day and I think KG talked about in the non-conference season that maybe that had been the high point and it was hard to sustain Are you, do you feel the last couple weeks like you guys are getting back to how good you felt as a team that day when you kind of kicked off the season that way? Yeah, I think um, from the Arizona road trip, we've come back and I think we're going into a really good direction with our team and I think that hopefully we can stay like this and if we just keep getting better and better, who knows where it's going to take us. Just generally how have you kind of adjusted to Pac-12 play? I know it's, it gets a little bit more physical, refs might swallow their whistles a little bit more. How have you been kind of feeling since conference play started? Um, I think better. It's uh, definitely a big jump, and I didn't realize how really like how great Pac-12 was. But I think each game I'm getting more confident and starting to find my role and figure figure things out. So it's getting a lot better. What's the biggest thing that surprised you? Um, I think physicality is a big one, as well as just the depth of every other team. Like there's so many great players, you're never going to guard someone that's like no good. Like everyone's talented, everyone's ready to play, and it's it's fun. What have you seen on film from Oregon State? How would you evaluate? challenge that they pose? Uh, they got depth, they've got a lot of really fast guards, they got really good guards. Um, they got two big girls who are freshmen so that's going to be tough to guard them too but they're an all round really good team and they're actually quite similar to us. They play together and they use every aspect of their team so it's going to be a tough match. Have you guys gotten a true, at least in your opinion, a, a true road environment yet that's going to be like what, what Gill is going to be? It's already sold out uh, up there as well? Not yet. I think Arizona maybe was the closest. That was a tough road trip. Um, but I really don't, I don't know what I'm getting myself into, like I said, but I've heard a lot of things. What are some of the things that you've heard that make you feel good? Or what are some of the things <laughs> that you're kind of like, okay, I'm going to need to learn that one. I heard the crowd at Gill is something else. <laughs> so that would be fun to, it'd be fun to like, we're going to come together. We've got to use our voice more, we've got to communicate. So it's actually be a really good test for us. How would you describe Satu, your teammate, as like, is she somebody who's really routine or is she really lighthearted both on and off the floor? Satu's super direct. She's really good for our team. She's not going to beat around the bush. She's going to tell you what you need to do, what we need to do as a team, and she's just super helpful for anyone. She's out there for everyone else but herself. She's a very selfless player. And has she picked up a bit of a mentorship role since with all the young players on the team and her being one of the more experienced? Yeah, she's taken a lot of us under her wing, and she's always looking after us, guiding us. Yeah, she's been really helpful for me and Holly especially. What have you learned from her specifically? She's just tough, like she works so hard on and off the court. Um, she's taught me a lot, like she comes in and battles, like I really take that mentality from her and she just speaks her mind and she's really open and honest and I really respect that. When Kelly sits in your living room and he's recruiting you to come here, what's his message? What's his recruiting pitch like? To me? Yeah. Um, Sabrina was one. <laughs> I think that really, that was a huge part for me to play with her. Mm -hmm. um, so that was a big one, but also to come in and have a role in this team that I didn't think that I would have anywhere else. And the family aspect of this team was another thing that he pitched to me, and it's better than what he described it. Could you describe it to me, someone who's outside the program? What does family look like? Paint that picture for me. I mean, there's no drama. Everyone's here for each other. Mm -hmm. There's the coaches, like we go to their house for dinner, like it's just like a reg like a second family and it's really good to have like a lot of international players and have that support here.
Sabrina obviously carries a little bit of an international brand. Do games like these, like when you're down in Australia before you came here, I mean, were big rivalry games for women's basketball pro programs, did those kind of penetrate down there, or was it just more of like you heard Final Four and that kind of thing when it came up? Um, pe like games for me? Like uh, rivalry games for me? Or? Yeah, like when when you're when you're down there before you came to Oregon, like did did you ever hear anything about the Civil oh. War? Like when, when oh, yeah, South yeah. Carolina plays Baylor or anything like that? Yeah, I knew about the Oregon Oregon State rivalry. I didn't know how huge it was until I came here. Mm -hmm. But I definitely when I went on my visit to Oregon State, I realized the rivalry when I came to my next visit to Oregon. But I didn't really hear about it as much back home.